I'm Tom Hunt, author of The Natural Cook. I'm here in the River Cottage Garden today and I'm going to make a char-grilled crab and broad bean bruschetta. Okay, so my barbecue's already lit. If you want to see my tip for that, just click here. Okay, so charring the beans, they're going to steam inside and take on some of the smoky flavours as well. Just spread them all over. They'll steam inside and start popping away. So when they start to blacken, they look beautiful. You can just turn them over. So now I'm going to prepare the crab. We've got this point just here. You just got to place the knife nice and firm on top. When it's in place, we need to just drive the knife through. Just straight through to the bottom. Give it a little turn and then the crab's dead. So the broad beans are blackened on both sides now. So I'm going to pull them off the barbecue. Now the crab's dispatched, we're going to cook it. If you cook it shell side down, then it will keep as much of the juices inside as possible as it cooks. Just straight onto the, onto the grill. And now we're going to leave it for eight minutes to cook through. The broad beans have cooled down a little bit. I'm just going to take them out of their pods. They've steamed and gone all juicy in, inside the pods there. If you buy broad beans at home and you're not char grilling them, then the pods are actually edible and quite delicious. I'm just going to dress them with a little bit of olive oil. You can serve them just like this as a side dish or you could put them on a bruschetta. Um, a bit of salt and pepper. Season them with some mint or fresh herbs or anything you like. But today we're going to make a barbecue crab bruschetta. So after eight minutes, I'm going to flip the crab. This crab is just over a kilo in weight. So it's eight minutes each, each side. If you've got a crab that's one and a half kilos, add an extra four minutes. And then after that, every extra half a kilo, add another four minutes. Okay, so our crab's been cooking for eight minutes each, each side. It's nice and charred. It's ready to get off. It's perfect. Now we just need to leave it for about 15 minutes so that it can cool down enough to handle, and then we'll pick it. Okay, so our crab's grilled, and it's cooled down now for about 15 minutes, so it's just about cool enough to handle. And start by removing the legs. If you just Pull them out on the angle like that and put them on the side. And then the claws as well. Put them all to one side. Cracking the claws open, we've got a delicious, quite intense meat that's smoked on the barbecue. Pull that out using your hands. It's one of my favourite parts. In the joints here as well, there's plenty of meat that you can get out. If it's not a brilliantly sunny day and you, you can't barbecue your crab outside, then it's fine to use just boiled crab. So the rest of the meat, as I said, all of this is, is delicious and should be eaten. The brown meat has most of the flavour, so it's worth spending a bit of time picking through it and, and getting as much of the meat out as you can. Can I add the broad beans? Okay, next I'm going to mix this up. All I need to do now is just get the parsley. I'm not going to lose the stalks, of course. They add flavour. Just need to chop them nice and finely. There we go. Now I'm going to make the bruschetta. Cut nice, kind of thick slices. I like to do it on sourdough, but any kind of bread's lovely, really. Straight on the, on the barbecue here, and just char them up nicely. Last ingredient I'm going to add is some fresh lemon. Okay, now we're going to turn that all together, full of flavour. Just going to rub them with some garlic. Put a bit of salt on top and just give it a rub. Some olive oil. And now for our crab. Broad beans, parsley and lemon juice. Char grilled crab and broad bean bruschetta. Oh, you're cooking up from in there. <laughs> hey Steve, how are, are you? Man? Yeah, good, thanks. That's fantastic. If you like my recipe, oh, like I love the... it. <laughs> if you like my recipe, like the video, and please subscribe to River Cottage Food Tube for more recipes from me and him. Mm.